If you are one of the almost 2 million people who subscribe to Matt's Off-Road Recovery channel, you must have liked seeing Matt and his team use their cleverly designed rescue vehicles to get stuck vehicles out of trouble. Even though we all loved how well they vlogged their work activities and how well their cars worked, you have to agree that one of the best things about their video was the people Matt surrounded himself with. It talented people like Lizzie Stout, who is now known as Lizzie Ballard, who played their parts well and did everything they could to make the business succeed. Sadly, she had to leave because of some life-changing events that many of her fans were shocked to learn about. Let's look at Lizzie's heartbreakingly tragic life. Get the latest news about Lizzie from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Before she became a major strength of Matt's Off-Road Recovery crew, she played an important role behind the scenes by managing the logistics of leasing with clients and making sure the crew had the supplies they needed to do the job. Lizzie is the daughter of Matt's close friend Stuart Stout and his wife Heidi, and she and Matt have known each other since they were kids. Due to the close friendship between her father Stuart and Matt, she had a special relationship with him that went beyond blood ties. Matt treated her like she was his own daughter and was always there for her. His presence in her life was so important that fans thought she was Matt's real daughter and had to post memes to show them who the real father was. Lizzie's early life was mostly spent being a child and growing up. Like most people, she was shaped by her family and the small town where she lived in Hurricane, Utah, where time moved more slowly. Even though she came from a middle-class family, the strong sense of community there affected her from a young age. Growing up with three sisters and two brothers, Lizzie learned how important it was to work hard and get educated. This desire to learn made her very curious. While she was in school, Lizzie was a bum who worked hard to get what she wanted. However, her education wasn't always easy. She had one subject that was really hard for her, but she eventually got the hang of it. As we said, she is very hardworking, even if it wasn't always clear. It wasn't until high school that she started to focus more on her possible career goals. Eventually, Lizzie went to college, choosing an institution that let her pursue a variety of interests. Even though her path wasn't always clear, it was here that she started to focus on what would become her passion and job. She was learning as she went along, both in classes and from her life experiences. Like many others, getting a little dirt under her fingernails never bothered her as a child she liked taking the long way around. She eventually found off-roading because she was curious and liked pushing the limits. Her father told his friend Matt about his daughter's interest and soon Lizzie and Matt realized they had a lot in common. After meeting on the great outdoors, they quickly became friends and shared a love of challenging equipment and off-roading. Eventually, Matt invited Lizzie to join his team. It all started when Matt called her and said, Hey, I got a job. I didn't know what I was supposed to do, but I got in the banana and we were supposed to go, she said to drive to a glamping spot or something, and then we had to pull them back out to the road. Fans loved her when Matt introduced her, saying, We have a new face today. This is Lizzie. She's helping us out. She's helped us before when she joined. Matt's off-road recovery, she went into a field that was mostly men's. Off-roading and vehicle recovery are hard jobs, and being a woman in these fields comes with its own problems. Lizzie had to show off her skills and earn the respect of her teammates and the community as a whole. In her early days on the squad, she had to push herself to learn the technical side of vehicle recovery and deal with the physical demands of the job. After some time, Lizzie has become an important part of the group. Her skill as a welder and genuine love for off-roading made her a perfect fit. She learned a lot along the way from how to navigate different terrains to how the vehicles they drive work. Her excitement only grew as she. As she got older, she started making changes to her own cars 
and learning everything she could about what makes a good off-road vehicle. For her, it wasn't just the trip she was taking, it was about working with others and sharing the thrill of finishing difficult trails. More time with off-roading enthusiasts who shared her interests and shared stories, tips, and strategies. For her, adventure is more than just the thrill of off-roading. It's about learning from each other, pushing the limits together, and being a part of a community that shares her enthusiasm. She has worked for Wind Towing. Corporation since 2020, Lizzie had become a top-notch technician. As an experienced mechanic, she was Matt's technical advisor, and the team turned to her for help with technical issues like towing and repairs. She gave the team technical advice on issues like towing, repairs, and maintenance, and her ability to stop, think, and understand complicated things quickly saved the day more times than anyone can count. Machinery but Lizzie's contributions go beyond her technical knowledge. She has been an important part of many rescue operations and is always willing to help. Her ability to stay calm under pressure and solve problems has been very important. For example, when the team had a problem with a broken engine that seemed impossible to fix, Lizzie stepped up to figure out what was going on and how to fix it. The problem and got to work while everyone else was freaking out. Before anyone could believe it, she restarted the engine in a matter of hours and the team was back on track. Her contributions have had a huge impact on the team, making it stronger and more effective. Given how much she loves working with others, it wasn't a surprise that her relationship with Clancy Ballard, which began as a normal one, ended in divorce. When they first met, Clancy was a Mormon missionary in Tennessee which brought them together. On September 30th, 2022, Lizzie married Clancy Ballard, which was one of the best days of her life. The ceremony took place at the Cedar City, Utah Temple, which was important to both of them. Close family and friends attended their beautiful wedding. Their wedding showed how close they were. Lizzie's life started a new phase that combined her love of adventure with the security of a committed relationship. She found happiness and support in this new relationship, especially during the tough times of Matt's off-road recovery. Clancy, who was working as a Mormon missionary in Tennessee, made their relationship stronger, shared Liz's ideals and goals, and even though they lived separate lives and were far apart, their relationship grew strong. At the time, Lizzie showed incredible drive and commitment by balancing her work life with her personal accomplishments. Her marriage showed that she could follow her goals while also fostering her personal relationships. You have to admit that this showed that she was just as good at navigating life's bumpy terrain as she is at off-road recovery. Many of her fans are still inspired by her ability to. She did her best to balance work and marriage, but everyone was holding their breath because they knew that Lizzie would have to make her decision with her husband in mind now that she was married. That's why this fan said she's a Mormon woman of childbearing age who recently got married. Leaving the show was inevitable. Of course, Lizzie has been through her fair share of tragic events over the years, so leaving the show was a hard choice for her even though she had to follow her dream of working on a ranch. Fans knew that the show had become like a second family to her, so it wasn't easy for her to decide to leave. She really wanted to go back to nature and do more useful animal work, but she was afraid of disappointing her co-stars and fans. She definitely shed tears as she cleaned out her trailer and said goodbye she had become close with Matt and saw him as a brother. He was a mentor and a second father to her, so it was especially hard. But she had also lost a lot of important people in her life. The death of her grandfather had the biggest effect on her. It reminded her of how valuable and short life is, and he always told her to follow her dreams. This tragedy shaped Lizzie's decision to follow her passion for ranching and to live life to the fullest in honor of him. 
After years of being a beloved character on the show, she decided it was time to start a new chapter in her life. Her goal of working on a ranch had always been there, but now she couldn't avoid it, especially now that she was settled down and ready to start raising her family. She told Moore, I moved to a different town and have a different job there. So my time with Moore is over. She also said she couldn't wait to get back to her origins and work directly with the land and animals. Even though I enjoy being on the show for some time now, my heart has been urging me in a new way, she said. You know that I'm prepared to work with my own hands and get my boots dirty. But she wasn't completely cut off from the show she kept in touch with the squad by stopping by every once in a while. As she took a big step away from her normal role, she told the fans, This isn't a complete farewell, you will still occasionally see me. I couldn't get away from this completely, it has played a significant role in my life. Matt, her mentor, threw a farewell party for her in the Moore finale, which wasn't a surprise because she was in 250 recoveries, which is probably more than everyone else. Matt, and it was clear that with that much work, people would notice if she wasn't there. Matt even admitted that he was both sad and happy that Lizzie was moving on, and he even got the whole team together to wish her luck in her new endeavors. At that point, Lizzie told her team, I'm not going to be working here anymore. Maybe sometimes if Matt needs my help on a job or something, or if he comes out to my area. They were both very sad to see her go, but they also knew she needed a change. They said what was on their minds were thrilled for her to follow her dreams, but we will miss her enthusiasm and knowledge every day. She deserves that, and if she wants to return, she will always have a place here. At the end of the episode, Matt tried to have fun with the team while delivering the cake and other items. Fans knew what he was feeling he was losing one of his best team members. There was nothing he could do about it. A fan remembered how good Lizzie was to the show. My favorite Lizzie moment was when the gang was doing a rescue and needed someone to jump into a deep hole ditch. Lizzie did it without thinking, even though it looked like at least an eight-foot drop. It showed what a great athlete and go-getter she is. The comments were hilarious as almost every guy said. They would have hurt their knees if they had tried the same thing again. Matt and his team dropped off the truck and got Lizzie as a gift. They were going to take her car and replace it with this 2016 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. It had Patagonia XT tires, which are great for both off-road and on-road driving. Lizzie should be driving a little more growl while ranching, so this vehicle should be a great help to her. It showed how much of a family Matt and his team were, because Lizzie used to drive a black Ford. They got her a black 12-generation Ford F-150 FX4, because she wanted to drive a green Ford Raptor one day. When she quit the channel, someone said that the gift Lizzie was probably responsible for about 500,000 subscribers and millions of views. The truck they gave her was nice, but she deserved a lot more after she quit Matt's off-road recovery. Not everything in Lizzie's life was easy. Moving to a new town and starting a new job wasn't easy. At first, it was hard to get used to the ranch's long hours and hard physical work. She also missed her friends on the production team and sometimes wondered if she had made the right choice. But Lizzie finally got to work. Rhythm. She was happy with her job and found a new family among the ranch hands. Even though the physical work was harder, she felt more fulfilled than she had in years. Personally, Lizzie has had her share of setbacks. A few years ago, her beloved dog died, and it broke her heart. Even though Lizzie's dog had helped her through a lot, this was the start of a new and exciting chapter in her life. In some ways, it was also the end of an era. As she embarks on this new journey, her husband and team will be there to support her. She had to earn the respect of the community by showing that she was worthy of their trust.
Many people thought her leaving her old job to work on a ranch was the end of her story, but they were wrong. When she started her new job, she made an immediate impression on her new team and audience by bringing a certain strength and honesty to the workplace. She was the kind of person that people could easily relate to and admire because of her dedication and tenacity. Dot's efforts went beyond the daily tasks, and she shared her unique perspective with her whole team based on her own experiences. The fact that she was known on the channel as a recovery specialist, a swing dancer, a volleyball player, and someone who competed in rodeos and won a fancy belt buckle that she wore almost all the time showed that she was an important team player. Fans knew how great she was, some even said. I hope she starts her own YouTube channel. I think she will do very well no matter what she does in reality. What makes Matt's off-road recovery different from the others is Lizzie's sense of community and togetherness. Fans noticed this one fan even said, she was the only person on the show I felt had a story arc of sorts, maybe Ed too. She began differently than she ended, and that's because we got to see her skills and confidence grow. Most of the other contestants feel like they don't change much between the beginning and end of the show Lizzie, on the other hand, started off very differently from who she is now, and it's been really fun to see her change over the last few months. She probably won't read this, but if she does, thank you for the impact you had on so many people, especially young girls and women everywhere. For these fans, Seeing Lizzie play her part in recovery was a reminder to help others and deal with life's challenges with the same determination she showed on rescues. The show was about more than just saving cars from bad situations at its core. Lizzie did her best to step in whenever she was needed, getting to know the other team members and making sure everything ran as smoothly as possible. Now that Lizzie is off doing what she loves, Matt's off-road recovery has had its own problems and has struggled to. A viewer talked about how bad the show has been since Lizzie and some of the original cast members left. I think Matt owes at least half of his success to Lizzie and Ed, but I don't think he gets it. He seems to think that everyone watches three times a week to see him, but the lies are getting old, and he now has his friends and family. With copycat channels doing their own fabrication projects all the time, it doesn't matter how much fabrication you like to watch at some point, it gets boring. That means people will get tired of Matt, Paul, Rudy, and Robbie all at once and stop watching. Things have changed, but the channel is still as popular with one. 77 million members, but it looks like a lot of diehard fans are getting bored now that Lizzie isn't there to save the day.